Hi, I'm going to show you how to set up the interactive wallpaper and over overlay system. So we've got a little prototype here. Uh, it makes a little city. Now we're going to convert this into a desktop wallpaper basically or uh, overlay. First thing that you need to do is import the package. Once you have imported the package, you have to move the plugins folder that's under interactive wallpaper and overlay, move it into your assets folder. Then you need to go to project settings, player, other settings, and under API compatibility level, choose .NET 2.0 instead of .NET 2.0 subset. Also go under resolution and presentation. Make sure that visible and background is switched on. Once you have done that, go to the scripts folder under under the under the interactive wallpaper and overlay, and you've got three scripts there. The main script that does everything is the click through script. Add that to your main camera. There's also a controller script. Add that to the main camera. It's used for testing can easily set up your uh, active uh, switch between active and non-active and show you what's happening and there's a global hotkeys script there which you don't need to worry about it's it's used internally now that you've got those scripts on the main camera the click through script takes a material that's the material that's going to be used to make the background transparent you can find that material on the materials folder it's called the transparent window material. Put that in there. Then you've got mode. It's either stay on top or go to bottom. If you want uh, an overlay, like for a game or something, like a mod, you, you would choose stay on top and uh, your project will be rendered on top of everything. If you want it to be a wallpaper game, just go select go to bottom. Then there's the target FPS. Now it, it's good to set this up because uh, if this game is running as an overlay or as a wallpaper it will be running all the time and you don't want to be heavy on resources. So set that to something acceptable. And you need to set up the hotkey. Uh, the hotkey is used to switch between active and inactive mode uh, with a key instead of having to click anything. So hotkey, let's see, you can choose whatever you want here. Let's make it I and modify a control and that's it for the click through script and then you've got the controller script the controller script just shows you if the it, it's there just to show you that if the overlay is active or not <coughs> and flip between the modes so I made a button over here it's just a normal button with uh, nothing on it except it's going to have an on-click event that's going to flip between active and non-active mode and that needs to be under your main camera and the click through class object and flip click through so when that button is clicked it will flip between active and non-active you'll see what this is required just now also just so we can get some feedback, we put that button under the controller script. And one, one more thing to note is that the material, the transparent window material, it takes a color. That's the color of your, of your camera background that's going to be transparent. So this is set up for the default background color for the main camera. Solid color background. And the thing is that you can't run this in the editor. It doesn't work in the in the editor because it would uh, it would make the actual editor see through, and you wouldn't be able to to do anything. It would it just doesn't work like that. So we need to we need to build this thing. Let's build it quickly. Okay, so our overlay is active, it's green here, and the game, 
the low price tapi shy and you see you can interact with it normally but uh, you can't access the desktop now so you to be able to, for the user to use the desktop everything will still work in the background except that uh, interaction the mouse controls and everything is are not going to work uh, while the overlay is on so you can switch off the overlay over here and now uh, it's like the game is a wallpaper everything still functions except it's in the background then you can use the hotkey we set it as control i and go back to interacting and that's it i hope that helps